We're going to get a bit more into this. Dr. Richard Amwakoba is a former head of the Political Science Department, uh, the Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology, also one of the leading members of the New Patriotic, founding member of the New Patriotic Party. He's joining us on Zoom for a quick conversation on this matter. Dr. Amwakoba, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana tonight. I mean, you, at least from what I'm reading, you had argued quite strongly that organized labor will not go ahead with this strike. Prior to today, what made you so convinced that they, they were going to call off this strike? You see, let me say something that many Ghanaians maybe are not aware of. The presidency, organized labor is no match. I'm not saying that's what happened. I hope they were not bribed. Uh, if they were, I can assure you, they'll, they'll, they'll pay back through their nose. You will see. It's not going to stand. They may as well get their shovels and do what I'm saying with themselves. You see? A great, great disappointment. A great letdown and injustice. It's all about money. Nothing else. Let's see, let's see what happens in the coming days. If the money is big enough, somebody will take it. I hope it didn't happen. I hope that's not what we are talking about, but I won't be very surprised at all that that's what has happened. They have let down the whole country. So all the talk and all the anticipation, this is what they've done. Uh, they have to come and explain wh what they had in mind, what they said before, and what they're saying now, so that you can hear them. As I've said, I hope they didn't take a bribe. I hope they were not, not bribed. And if they were, this one would be the last one they ever took, this one, because they will not stand. They've let down the country. People have gone to jail, you understand? Mm. And you, you want money to do what you want instead of saving the country. The last hope, everybody had greater anticipation, last hope of what they've done. Let everyone down. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see what happens indeed. And as you kept making reference, th there's no record, at least from where we sit, of, of they, not, they, they receiving bribes. Uh, but obviously, as you said, you hope that's not what happened. But then again, the... Oh, Joshua Ansa, who is the Secretary General of the TUC, indicated that, well, the presidency had met majority of their demands, the reason why they decided to call off the strike. That's not convincing enough. So why is the Gansai still going on? Well, how did they explain that one? They stopped the Gansai, that's what it comes down to, nothing else. You don't want any meaningless details. The Galamse must stop now. That's the whole thing. Has it stopped? Has the government even given you uh, 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 some lines, deadlines as to uh, stop Friday or Monday? What? They should tell us. What are they talking about? Most of their demands. You should tell us what, are, what, what were the demands and what have they satisfied? Let us know. If they can answer these questions, I'm sure they are honorable. <laughs> but I will not hold my breath for that. A great letdown, that's what it is. If the money is big enough, somebody will take it. And I've said before, I hope they didn't do that. And if they did, this will be the last bribe they'll ever take in their lives. I can assure you that. Not today, tomorrow, the next day it will come. I see. And, and Dr. Amkuba, hold on a bit for me. And I want us to, to get the full length of exactly what Joshua and Secretary General of the TUC said earlier today, the reason why they are calling off this strike, which also take effect tomorrow. Take a look. The redeployment of the military and other law enforcement agencies to flush out illegal miners from water bodies and forest reserves. The military is now supporting the Forest Guards of the Forestry Commission 
to protect the forest reserves from this destruction by illegal miners and loggers. Government working with the judiciary has already established 14 dedicated courts, seven high courts and seven circuit courts to handle illegal mining cases. Collaboration with the organized labor and other stakeholders to fight illegal mining, government has asked organized labor to nominate representatives to be part of the stakeholders committee to fight illegal mining in the country. Organized labor has therefore decided to suspend the internal strike action. We are calling all workers to report for work on 10th of October 2024 and beyond. Organized labor will keenly monitor the implementation of these measures which government has made and government will hear from us if it fails to do the needful. So, Dr. Makuma, they said they will keenly monitor the, these commitments government has made um, from today onwards, the reason why they are calling off the strike. And, and that's, that's not convincing, you say? Deal with issues of illegal mining? Are you kidding? It says hey, stop it now, not deal with issues. What deal with issues? The president is trying to buy time, and that's what they've given him. Double talk. Deal with what issues? It's very simple. Stop illegal mining. Galam says stop now, not tomorrow. Stop messing up the waters. It's very simple. What issues? What issues do they have? Now they're talking on, on, on both sides of their cheeks, no so. They are not fools, so what has happened, we will see. You will wish you never did that. If you did, let's, let's see what happens. We are not fools. There is a God in the country. The country is not just there. And you can do whatever you want. God says enough is enough. We will see what happens. Enough is enough. This is why we can't do anything. You can't trust anyone. You understand? So I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. You say, uh, Dr. Amakoba, Richard Amakoba, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana Tonight.